Lewd and indecent acts in Austin's public park, a problem that's been going on for years. And it's gotten the attention of Austin police who say they receive tips every day of people using park restrooms for sexual acts. Just last Friday, APD ran a sting operation at Walnut Creek Park where they arrested three men they say charged with lewdness and indecent exposure. KXAN's Omar Lewis joins us live from the park with more on the warning being issued by Austin police. Omar. Good evening. It's a huge problem here, and police say here at Walnut Creek Park, they get the most calls and cases for these indecent acts. And the worst part is it's parents and children who are stumbling into park restrooms and finding these sexual acts taking place. Walnut Creek Park, a place where joggers can hit the trails and kids can play on swings. We come here a lot. This is the park we go to. But it's also a place where lewd and indecent acts happen all too often. APD says they receive tips every week from folks shocked at what they witness. Their complaints are their uh, seven-year-old son just came back from the bathroom and saw two men that were naked inside and, and uh, hugging each other. It's why they're performing undercover sting operations and police say on every operation Operation, they always make an arrest. Just last Friday, APD charged Yang Chong and Charles Hills with indecent exposure and lewdness. Again, they're in the restrooms, which are public. Uh, children and families have access to all of the trails and these restrooms, and so we have to do something to address it. Addressing it by stepping up patrols and performing online stings. Patrolling popular websites, these criminals go to meet up. And I think I would be really shocked if I ever actually did encounter that. Um, it doesn't seem like something that would happen in the middle of the day. Here, baby. But it does. And while joggers like Mike Hennigar come to escape, criminals are also taking advantage of the openness and seclusion. It's off the beaten trail. Uh, this, you're almost a mile off of any of the roads around here. So. Police say most of this activity occurs at Walnut Creek and Bull Creek Parks in broad daylight. They say it's up to citizens to report it and stop it. About the only way we can do it is, is hope that people will police themselves. We hope that the uh, citizens and the neighbors will be vigilant and uh, when they spot it, they call us. And police say although there are curfews in place and several lights placed around these parks, it can happen anywhere at any time. So it's always best to be on the lookout. Now, if you do spot some of this activity going on, please tell me it's best to call 311. For now, we're live in Austin. Omar Lewis, KXAN News.